Welcome back, everybody. This is John Brown with John Brown Disc Golf, and you are watching the Kitsap Classic middle nine holes out of the 27 we filmed out at Horseshoe Lake Disc Golf Course. Crabtree at an egg three, Cockrell at an egg one, Clark at an egg four, and Broadwell, Broadwell. at an egg two. I forget his last name. We give a quick thank you to all our sponsors out here, and right on to hole one. Par 3, 300 feet. We have Kyle Reif sitting in with us doing commentary. So I am too. John Brown. Yeah, we're starting off. They moved this basket uh, recently to the new permanent position. And uh, it's a little shorter, a little tighter to this out of bounds now. We're playing all, you must land in peninsula. this peninsula. Yeah, so you can barely see the far car on the car path on the far left side but i've heard of it being uh, called the signature horseshoe hole cuz it resembles a horseshoe peninsula aha i don't aha. know how much truth that is but it is a tight hole to get onto the crowd just showed you how to do it though um, <laughs> backhand hyzer play that looks great Ooh. a little <laughs> short of the basket Uh -oh. gonna get uh -oh. it. It's gonna. It should get back there though. Uh -oh. No, it doesn't. So is there? Yeah, I'm asking the same uh, question. Actually, it's played where you were last in bounds. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're actually starting in bounds. That's notable. And boy, <laughs> Jordan just he knows. All right, do better this. It's not that close to the basket either. Jordan looks like he wants it right now. Ooh, yeah, that would have been a good par save there. And for the par save here, or we have bogey save, uh, forgive me. No, he's, he was out of bounds. Then, ah, tricky putt, though. Um, that backside putt around them bushes. Yeah, that out of bounds cost Jordan. I think Ryan's going to get oh, double. Oh, yeah. Ow. Not the way you want to start this middle segment. Middle nine, yeah. Middle nine of 27. Uh, but Kenny, easy right, conversion now for that. Par. Clark pulling away a little bit. Neg five, neg three, neg one, plus three. Moving on to hole two, par three, 320 feet. Pretty much a straight ahead throw backhand or sidearm if you want. A little bit of a low uh, overhead due to the fact that you're throwing downhill. Uh, fun hole. I think a lot of everybody's really thinking ace run right here. Um, definitely a gettable hole, one that these guys want to get with a high percentage of the time. They all should be warmed up by now. This is hole number 11 of the day for them. Ooh, and maybe a little saw happy. off, huh? Well, that's not bad. That tree caught him. Yeah, otherwise he was going wide right. Um, you know, it seems like the high high percentage of players are throwing the sidearm, and that looks like a good play. But uh, you know, the the ace runs tend tend to come more with that backhand rock. I like to go straight, straight, straight at ahead. It. Yeah. yeah. And I don't throw the rock. I throw the high no. speed driver because my rock only makes <laughs> it about halfway there. Well, I'm trying to compare what these guys might throw too. Even well, we have some amateurs watching. We got to let the amateurs yeah. know what to throw. Don't pick up destroyers if you're an amateur. <laughs> That's the first it, error in disc golf. Pick it up after you after you played for a while. You're an amateur, John. I, I have zero destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, yeah, these guys are not, you know, wowing us right now. There's, although... Hit the pole. And that's... Oh, there is a back door over there. All, all These guys have all got a look. Like a 75-foot you know, that's jump. pretty far... Jordan lining up another similarly sized, what do you call that, a, a, a putt approach. I mean, going to half go. Oh, Ryan also was, giving it, that looked like more yeah, of a, he, he just, was running that. He just needed bottom. a little more power and it was yeah. in. It was dead center. Can he line it up? Circle edge butt maybe? And yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's lining up. Six down. 
Six through 11, he's only missed five holes. You just said we weren't Man. seeing nothing special. I just, we <laughs> had the tee shots, my bad. Well, you remember he got knocked down, right? You know, he had, was uh, maybe in trouble oh. for a second there. Look at that smile, having fun. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Looks like the sun's starting to break through a little bit. It's also about money, because they're pros. And they're, <laughs> you know. And we're in on hole 11. Hole 12, this has been a classic hole at this course. Uh, turnover shot. Feels like they've shortened it a little bit over the years, um, but the same hazards apply. It's got this green, which is surprisingly in play, um, and just, you know, a turnover sidearm shot. Um, and it's also hole number three of the Kitsap Classic, or the Kitsap 18, or the Horseshoe Lake 18 hole for us. The regular for us, yeah. Almost took and out the power box. <laughs> that's a makeable putt right there. A little longer than he wanted, maybe. Yeah, buddy. And this yeah. looks pretty good. You got that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little long. Yeah. Lick it. It's good not a little it. wide, but yeah. it's got a good angle for a skip. A little bit of roll there. A little skip and roll. There you go. Keep You're going. On. Yeah. And here's a nice looking turnover. Right, and showing you how the backhand gets it done, too. That's the way I throw on this one. Either that or a roller. John, you throw a roller on every roll. Why not? Right. When in doubt, roll it out. Yeah. Couple of eh attempts, maybe, there. There you go, Jordan. Brings all over it. Moves him down to neg, too. Apparently, his nickname is Harry Potter. I've heard that name called out a couple hmm. times during hmm. the match already. Hmm. Do you suppose it's because he's hairy or because he's a potter? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it because he's a magician? Wizard? I don't know. I'm, I'm only a nerd. We'll, we'll have to ask him one of these days when we see him. Maybe he throws wizards. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jordan, when you watch this video, you can let us know. Why are you Harry Potter? Yeah. Firing minds all over disc with, golf. With so many good shots, you would have thought there would have been more birdies there. Nice birdie, Jordan. So Four. this pad Four. is new as of just a few weeks before uh, this tournament. So we're another one of those it. peninsula holes, isn't it? That's right. So similar to hole 10 slash 1, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's you just got this strip of inbounds that you've got to get to. And this one's tight. Um, and on the hill, really common to see just roll out of bounds over here. Hopefully we don't see any of that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Just Sitting down nice. This is exactly oh, yeah. what you want. That uh, it's just, a just roll running out of energy when it hits the ground. Ooh, a little wide. Get over. Get it's over, it's but it's going to be long. Yeah. Now it's in easily, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Like some kind of putter in Kyle's hand right there. I Maybe he has a, a Nova. I think it was a Nova XT, uh, a Nova XT. Yeah, the 285, it, oh, ooh, inbounds, brother. Yes, that's an easy fight, yeah. You know. <laughs> um, then, this whole plays longer with that elevation, but, you know, but it's it's right. Right. I didn't go to bed. Yeah, that's that. also a pretty good spot. Nice camera work there, John. I see good mug shot of Kenny. He was hiding in the bushes, getting his putt face on. There he goes. On. I mean, what did I miss there? Didn't Kenny drop it in like right under the cage? Who who teed off first? Or was that Jordan? Jordan did. Jordan. Okay, here we go. Jordan has the layup. Right. Pro move. Mark your disc even when you're five feet. Well. I think you saw me miss a putt from inside five feet at the FSO years ago. <laughs> I've seen plenty of people miss an inside five footer. Yeah. So we move on to hole five, par four, 580 feet. Pretty wide open there once you 
get off your off the tee. Just no no going left. Left is all OB over that car path. For sure. Um, candidate for a big backhand roller, you know, if somebody wanted to go after it. I don't know that we saw that that much ground play at this tournament. Um, possibly due to conditions. Uh, be a little wetter. I believe that right off the tee, there's a big hump in the ground too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of skips right off that hump. It, you got to hmm. get it up there on your drive. A little extra action over there. And I would say that if these guys had to pick their spot, they might select to try to get to the left -er side of the fairway um, just because it exposes more of the green. But, of course, these guys are trying to put a big smash on like Kyle here has. And they're trying to get some eagle action. He's probably kind of pin high right there, which is gross. Oh, oh okay. there's, there's the skip. skip. Yep. <laughs> Is Ryan lining up a roller? No. no. Looks like that was an, an air shot. It was a good air shot. Look at yes, that smash. Was. Yep. And Clark throwing his sidearm up. That's going to be a little long. This basket is on a, a slope like most of these ones are, but it's, it's more of a gradual slope. But, man, it seems to see a lot of people hit cage on their putt and roll oh, out yeah. on this. Get in. Ah. Mm. Good up shot there, Ryan. Sitting nice for the bird. Here's Kyle trying to throw in. And that's going to be the easy bird. It's a long birdie you look for, Jordan. Oof. Oh. Heart of the chains. That is mighty best. That's two we've seen this round from him. Um, well outside the circle. Really got a good spin putt. Because he's not, you know, he's not jumping. There's no jump. No. Got a little gallery of the teak pad ahead of him. I think they were waiting on another group. Yeah, we started to get some backups uh, you know, out in the middle of this track. But it, it felt like a pretty good flow, though, right? I mean, we didn't get any... 20 or 30 minute backups like you see sometimes. Uh, Kyle's in for that easy birdie. Uh, six, par four, 580. You got Crabtree trailing Clark by one and Jordan trailing Crabtree by one. This hole is a, a really good par four, I think. It's got the OB left the whole way. Uh, and then you see all these reeds on the right. This is water. And then the basket's perched on a hill. It's definitely one that you remember if you ever roll out on this. <laughs> um, yeah, and eagles even in play for these guys. If they really smash one with a downhill, um, won't be surprised when I hear that one of our local guys has eagled this hole. That's a smash right there. Congratulations. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Card mate giving him a little bit of a congratulations on that nice throw. Yeah, yeah. Kyle should get some congratulations as well. Look at this. <laughs> it's still oh, flying. It's still in the air. Look at Folks, that distance. Not sure that it actually landed. I think that might have been CGI just I, to show that it landed. I think there was an air bump there. A little <laughs> gust of wind kept that in the air. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is looking good too. None of these guys even flirting with that out of bounds left. Yeah, yeah. You had to say something. Yeah, <laughs> but you know they fading away from it though. That's they're all like down there at the baseball bottom. Baseball when they're like, he's on a perfect game right now, <laughs> and they hit a home run. Ooh, I think he tried to put that Flash one. Flashing the there. basket there yeah. is danger of. Even more OB. I forgot about that OB behind the basket. Backside, yeah. Sit down, sit down. Ooh, that's beautiful. And that's just that's really beautiful. well done right there. This green is tricky. You know, you see people throw into this tree, you know, kind of intentionally, too. That's a good play, too. This, this is his eagle look right here. This is... About 130 yeah, out. you know... Right now, of course, he makes it look like Tap he was that a fry, a fry appearance in the background there? Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe some foreshadowing. Walking around on the cart ahead. I don't know. And this is what I'm talking about. 
And he might have gotten lucky roll. to go left of the tree the, there. Because, they're dancing oh, around. It. Dancing it's still around, moving. Out of bounds. Okay. Looks like he stayed in, though. Yeah. Because if it came this side of the tree, it's a much steeper pitch, and they can roll another 80 feet. That might be better, though, than rolling OB. I suppose. But neither one of those but things there is happen, a pond so. on that side, too, if you roll too much <laughs> on that side. You know, it goes far enough west, there's the old Pacific Ocean out there, too. Ugh. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, we've been there. That boy, Ryan. Yeah, he's making a little bit of a... And, you know, just a couple of bad holes have hurt Ryan, you know. Tap in bird for Jordan. Looks like after we finish up this hole, we're going to have a new leader. And, yeah, I mean, if you're familiar with the Northwest scene, nobody's surprised to see Crabtree at the leading of anything. Yeah, so, that is right. Hole um, 7, par 3, 365. Uh, yeah, kind of just a... It, most players are going to throw a big wide hyzer. This, out of, this path is all out of bounds to the right, and, of course, the water is going to be out of bounds. Um, righties, this is a pretty simple, you know, like going out of all. bounds if you just throw something that's stable enough. Although, wind, you know, you could have uh, a headwind that could suck a disc over to the, the pond, and, you know, that sucks. When that throw happens. something beefy and let it fight back. That's right. <laughs> kind of like that right yeah. there. Yeah. Maybe a little too, too that not wide enough, but it yeah. you know for the ace run I guess. But look, he's in the circle. I don't think they care about aces right now. They well, just no. get him close. But you always draw up the ace run in your mind, right? You know? Kind of like I did earlier today. Full five, Bud Pell. Oh, you yeah, know he doesn't toot his own horn. Or anything, you know. Yeah, you got you got to give a little credit. If you guys are bored, go ahead after this video, check out the full five ace. I know I will. Yeah, he's watched it like, most <laughs> all of the, the All the views are yeah. mine. Right. It's <laughs> Just cool. on replay. You would do it too. Don't hate. Ooh, yeah. get in. All these guys are throwing. Oh, that was beautiful. Pretty nice shots. Jordan hiding in the bushes. Kind of looks like a bear back there, right? <laughs> Just poking out. It's Just like, what's up? I'm a bear. I'll play disc golf. I'll make there birdies. There you go. Solid. Not a baby. That's a baby. Ryan looking get back to even right there. What up, dude? Nice shot. Longest butt of the day. <laughs> Crabtree's not letting them enjoy that tie of the lead for long. Dude, you have a great shot. Nice shot, Kenny. There you go, Kenny. He's got a star card there. Yeah, star frame, no doubt. Um, where are we at here? Hole eight. 570 uh, downhill. Uh, we've got you're starting out of bounds. We're throwing back in bounds. No, you're starting in bounds, throwing over out of bounds twice. Gotcha. So you're not twice, but over the OB cart path. You have to make it over one cart path, over the next cart path, and back in bounds. But to the left is all out of bounds. Correct. And the real thing that people remember about this hill now, this is a hill right here yes. that this basket is on, and it slopes away far. You could roll. 200 feet past the basket. It is, Off of, it is nasty. You, you you could literally hit a cage and roll 200 maybe, feet away. Maybe not 200, but... <laughs> I think it's possible, John. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't happen to any of these guys. Get out of the bushes. Yeah. That back. You know, as long as you're in, these guys have got such good arms in both backhand and forehand, you know. Um, Kyle's thinking about throwing it 570 feet. Kyle right was now. trying to trick shot here. He said he wanted to put it in the bag. In the bag? Oh, in this bag right oh, here. Bag. <laughs> it pulled up a little short. It didn't touch the bag. That was a very memorable shot. Everybody on the side was worried that it was going to hit the bag. Mm, mm. Didn't flex. Getting in and, that forehand. Yeah, he's going sidearm on, you know, a pretty easy big backhand Ooh, shot. That Look at this. That is why. <laughs> Man. If only. <laughs> it, yeah. 
I can tell you, folks, if you get to the short grass on this tee shot, you have got a cannon. And Kenny's way past the short grass with the sidearm right there. Um, ain't going to lie, I was feeling it when I saw that shot live. <laughs> And Jordan, from his, you know, like sort of lucky yeah, staying in bounds, is throwing a great up shot there. Um, maybe a scary putt, but, you know, you can always take an easy par. And that looks to be pretty good. Looks like everybody's getting up to the basket for hopefully a... Ooh, get in it. Oh. Mm. Smart, smart play, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, even laying up right there isn't ridiculous. I mean, he's pretty close there, but you can see, and you know, everybody knows the camera doesn't do it justice, but that's a that's a steep hill, and you know, it's all mowed grass, you know, so it just rolled well. But these guys are making this hole look, look at easy. That. Seven, 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 right now. Is that? Significant. No. Okay. <laughs> Just a close match. Good, Good start. Ryan's pulling up the rear, but he's having fun. So real interesting hole, hole nine. Um, the path is a river out of bounds, so it's not really the play. The off the tee, you have two or three gaps that you can try to get out here to this main fairway, and then. The basket's tucked behind this huge tree, and there are it is accessible from both sides. So the players really have to choose how much do they want to bite off through the forest to get out into the open, and uh, yeah, it just makes for interesting scoring spreads. I like to go straight up the middle, but it's probably well defined to go around because it the looks outside. like one, two, three, four gaps. Um, not, and Jordan not, would do not oh, that gap yeah. five, actually. Yeah. <laughs> not that gap. The gap we're looking at right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That gap is the okay, one I drive sure. for. And that is probably it the just, biggest one. It, it, even if you don't get it, it just feels like the when you do get it, just you feel great. <laughs> it's gotcha. a small window right out there. You, now, if you got the sidearm, this is a way to, well, not this. If you could miss that tree to the left, that's a way to bite off the most distance on this hole, really. And Ryan's going for gap five also. Not quite as good as Jordan, but, um, you know, he's actually in okay shape the road. right there. That's yeah. all that mattered. And Kenny's just like, whatever, dude, I'm going to throw. He clipped the tree a little bit, too. So, I don't know. so had he not clipped the tree, he'd probably be sitting up next to the basket. Wow. I was surprised after him catching limbs and getting that much distance still. Ryan's struggling. This is this is really where um, this, this hole has its teeth, is getting out into this fairway. This looks maybe a little hot, but the tree there to slow it down. Gonna have himself a putt for birdie. Ryan needs to get across that road finally. He almost like niced him, I feel like. He was almost... <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Ryan. So he's got, you know, a tester for par. Kyle's not talking about pars. No, he's yeah. thinking that he can get in for an eagle and deep. Well, does it right or puts it up perfect for the birdie. This is perfect for the birdie versus the birdie. You know, when the golfers hit those you know, their approach shots back up in the green there. And Clark says, whatever, man. You get my par, I guess, huh? There you go, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you save a par. There you go. <laughs> par four. Two shots on this side of the road, or on the other side of the road, one up to the basket and one in. Oh, I just thought it was going in the way he's been putting that range. He's been pretty Seriously. good. Pretty solid putter. Bears are known, you know, for, for putting well. I thought they were known for stealing picnic baskets. Hmm. Hmm. But see, baskets, there's a connection, <laughs> you know. Looks like yeah. Crabtree's going to finish this round, or the, this nine being at neg nine. So through 18 holes, you know, uh, Crabtree's on top, nine down. Uh, Kenny Clark and Jordan Broadwell both 
you know, two strokes back, and Ryan Cockrell holding on it even, playing better golf of late. Yeah, he picked up three strokes in the this nine holes. I believe he was sitting at plus three at the beginning. So. Right, right, so going the right direction. You guys go ahead and uh, check out the back nine of round one. We'll have the finishing nine holes, ten through eighteen, and enjoy it. Right on.